Hello, I'm Walter. This is a lovely drawing by Maltese artist Toussaint Brizatil from Zetune. And because it is dated 1928 on the front and on the back, given the fact this artist was born in 1912, you have a problem, which I've come across in other pictures in the past. And what I think this is, is a school, a school drawing. And sometimes the art teachers would get a student to paint an anatomy um, or get them to copy an existing work. So what's happened here, in my opinion, is when this Toussaint was at all 16, his teacher said, copy this engraving. So this picture, which is a, draw, a drawing, not a, not a print, is a copy, faithful copy, of an engraving by Sabatini, which itself is a copy of an oil painting by Paglier. So, it says on the back, two samples at all, after Paglier, 1928. So I could piece it together, and I knew from the actual thing, the image, we had an angel, and we had a, a Roman in submission. It's a Roman toga. There's a Roman uh, helmet with a, a cone, otherwise known as a crest. The Roman foot in a leather strapped shoe or boot. The same footwear was worn in England when the Romans were there. A Roman chair, a stubby Roman sword, gladius. So I knew it was a Roman, I knew it's an angel. And uh, I was concerned it was a print because it has that look. It has a, soot a sootiness. And when I touched it, you, you, it was a black deposit, which doesn't necessarily mean it's a drawing. Sometimes the prints do shed as well. The angel is almost certainly not a female, though it looks like a female to our modern eye. That is not going to be a female angel. It's going to be a male angel. Um, I don't know whether it's an angel or an archangel. I think it's just an ordinary angel. So what's happened is this boy, to St. Visitil, has drawn this and he has dated it and signed it 1928. And I think his teacher has signed and dated it 1928. And what he's done is he's used a camera lucida, probably to copy it, not a, a camera obscura, or he's used tracing paper. I think it's likely, given we're in Malta and he was at school, he would have used tracing paper and he's laboriously copied this entire print. The print itself is not the same as the oil painting. You can see on here we've dug up some detail showing how it's been engraved and there are differences between the engraving and the sketch. For example, the column is different, the height of the back of the chair is different. There is no lan lantern in the print or in the original oil painting. So this child, artist, has put that lantern in on his own. He has copied it incorrectly on the chair, he's copied it incorrectly on the column. So the print is not the same as engraving, and there is no evidence to suggest this is a print at all. Uh, the signature and the date are not in, in tune with the image. It's a different style of uh, the, the signature and date is from a different era to the actual original image. The engraving would have been done in, in the 1880s. So if you could understand what I'm trying to say, it is a, uh, an example of a teacher, art teacher, getting a student to copy an existing artwork. And this two saint was a tell, has done a great job. And it's a fantastic thing. Even though it's not his own uh, conception, it is a beautiful piece of art. We put it in this glass case so people can see it. And it is, it is a sort of item that people need to have all this background information to understand what it is. I think it's Maltese, I think it's original, I think it's distinctive, it is large, the condition is good. We have all the information about it. It all ties in really well. It's in Nashar for sale for anyone who wants to have a look at it. Thank you.